What's going on people? It's your bro. Hope you're doing well and in this video we're going to discuss the insertion sort algorithm in computer science. As always, sit back, relax, and well, enjoy the show. Alright everybody, insertion sort. Now what we do with insertion sort is that we begin at index 1. We take the value found within, move it to some temporary storage, like a variable named temp, to temporarily hold it. We examine elements to the left. If any elements are larger than what's within temp, we shift those elements to the right. So 6 is larger than 1, we shift it to the right. If it's less than whatever's within temp, we stop or until we run out of elements. So we have run out of elements, we take this value found within temp and place it at this opening here. That was the first iteration, let's move on to iteration 2. Take this value, place it within temp, examine the elements to the left. If this element is greater than temp, then we shift it to the right. It's not, so we stop here and place this value back where it came from. So that was the second iteration. Iteration 3. Take this value, place it within temp, examine the elements to the left. If they're greater than 4, we shift them to the right. 7 is larger than 4, shift it to the right. 6 is larger than 4, shift it to the right. 1 is not larger than 4, so we stop here, take whatever's within temp, this value 4, and insert it here into this opening. So that was the first three iterations. We repeat this process until we run out of elements. So I'll speed up the footage. So we are currently on index 4. And that is your visual representation of the insertion sort algorithm. I like to think of it like a jigsaw puzzle. We have some pieces that are connected, they fit together, and we will move whole sections of pieces together to make room for a piece that fits. So let's create our own insertion sort algorithm in Java now. We'll need to create an array. Let's create an array of integers. Int, array, and make up some numbers. Put whatever numbers you want within here. Uh, maybe 9, how about a 1, and an 8, and a 2, and a 7, 3, 6, 5, 4. That sounds good to me. Okay, then let's display the elements of this array. We'll use a for each loop. For int i in array, we will display each element within this array with a print statement. So let me get rid of that print ln and just have print. So I will print i. I think I'm going to add a space afterwards. I didn't do that in the previous two videos, so I think I better do that. Okay, let's just run this just to test it. 918273654. And before we display the elements of our array, let's invoke a function, which we still need to declare, called insertion sort. So insertion sort. Then we will pass in our array as an argument. And we'll need to declare this. So I'm going to cheat and create this automatically. So outside of our main method, create a method named insertion sort. Private, static, void, insertion sort. There is one parameter, an array of integers. Okay, now the first thing we'll do is create a for loop to iterate over each element of our array, but it begins at one, not zero. So that would be four, then we will set int i to equal one, not zero. Pay attention to that. We will continue this as long as i is less than array dot length, and we will increment i by one during each iteration. Now we need to take our value found within i and place it within temp. So let's declare a temporary variable named temp. Int temp equals array at index of i. 
And now we'll create a variable named j, int j equals i minus 1. So this will keep track of what value we're comparing to the left of whatever i is. So then we need to create a while loop. We will continue comparing values to the left of i. And our condition is going to be while j is greater than or equal to 0 and array at index of j is greater than temp. So if we need to shift an element to the right, we would say array at index of j plus 1 equals array at index of j. So that will shift an element to the right. Then we will decrement j by 1, j minus minus. And the last thing to do is to insert the value found within temp into that opening. So that would be array at index of j plus 1 equals temp. And that's all there is to it. So let's run this. Booyah! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, people, in conclusion, the insertion sort algorithm compares elements to the left, and it will shift elements to the right to make room to insert a value. The insertion sort algorithm has a runtime complexity of big O of n squared. It runs in quadratic time. It's decent with small data sets, but bad with large data sets. And using insertion sort tends to be preferable to both bubble sort and selection sort. It uses less steps than bubble sort. And in the best case scenario, insertion sort can run in O of n linear time compared to selection sort, which the best case scenario is O of n squared. All right, people, so that is the insertion sort algorithm. If you can, destroy that like button, leave a random comment down below, and well, yeah, that's the insertion sort algorithm in computer science.